Today's a great day in Dubbo with, uh, first of all, a graduate from a wool handling course, but also the Minister for Skills and Training, Alistair Henskins. Alistair, today we've actually just sort of launched the five new shearing plant uh, here in Dubbo, which is pretty exciting, and you got to have a crack. I, I did, and look, Dougal, thank you for being such a strong advocate for this community and particularly for your local TAFE. And it's been great just to come here today um, I, I know you're an expert on these matters, having grown up on a sheep farm, but certainly for me to have a go, uh, sh shearing a sheep, um, being completely terrible at throwing, <laughs> throwing the fleece afterwards, but uh, it was absolutely, it's fantastic. And what really struck me was the great way in which the teachers uh, just gently gave me instruction on, on how, to sh how to shear. Um, uh, they didn't tell me to hang on to the, the fleece, unfortunately. <laughs> But um, but it was great. Yeah, and that's it. I mean, I guess the the um, great benefit of TAFE is it is within a region. You get hands-on experience. You can also go and work in a shearing shed, but come back here for some a bit a bit more fine tuning, and that's what we want to see. Absolutely. And talking to the students, what's really important for them is that they're actually learning in an industry that they've already had a bit to do with, um, and so it's it's very real to them. And and. and and that's a great way to learn too, isn't it? When, sure when is. you're familiar with the context, but you're learning new skills within a context that you're familiar with. Speaking of which, Nikki has actually just, well, today is your final day of a wool handling course. Yes. Excited? Very excited. <laughs> Can't wait to get signed off. <laughs> but you have been working in the industry previously for about 15 years yeah. as a rouseabout. What, yep. Why did you want to become a wool handler? Uh, something different, something higher up. I wanted to achieve more. Yeah. Yeah. And how, how's the course actually been for, for you then? Um, testing at times, but loved it the whole way through. What's the best part? Is it just the hands-on experience and, and literally the one-on-one -on -one stuff you get? Yes, I love hands-on experience. Um, I find it easier than written yep. essays or anything, but... Loved it all, so. And you clearly love the wool industry. Why, yeah. why is that? Is that sort of in your blood? How, does that, how did that happen? Um, it is in my blood. My mother was a rouseabout for a few years. Got me into it when I was younger. And, yeah, it just went from there. And we see a lot of female wool handlers right around the state and the country. So yeah. it's a really great career. And more and more, I think not just shearing contractors, but, but farmers and shearing sheds are catering more, which is what we also need to see. Yes, definitely need to see more pay. would be <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> but, well, um, yeah, the shearing industry is getting more people involved in it now, as much as they are screaming for shearers, but we're getting there eventually. We'll get more and more, and I think, I guess, with the, with the ability to deliver better equipment, new equipment and support the industry, that's where we're heading in the future. Great to have you here today, Minister. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having me and uh, great to be in Dubbo. Isn't Dubbo fantastic? It's an awesome place. So, look, I'll bring down a couple of felices. You can practice your throwing in Sydney as well. Uh, but a, a great day here celebrating what TAFE can offer and supporting the shearing industry.